Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, the arts, and athletics. Our vision is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Good morning, my name is Abigail Rios. Please stand for our morning prayer and pledge. Today is October 18, Tuesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time and the feast day of St. Luke Evangelis. Luke, the writer of the Gospel and the Acts of the Apostles, has been identified with St. Paul's Luke, the beloved physician, in Corinthians 4, verse 14. We know few other acts about Luke's life from scripture and from early Christian history. It is believed that Luke has been born a uh, Greek and a Gentile. He is a patron saint of physicians and surgeons. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, in this day, grant all doctors, physicians, and surgeons to have the courage to save lives. Guide each one of us to your light. Help us to open our eyes and our hearts to you, O Lord. Even when we doubt, help us believe. St. Luke, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mavericks. I'm Mia Martinez. And I'm Devona Nagnul. Today is Tuesday, October 18th, and we will be running on a regular C through A period schedule. Today's theme is to dress up as the first letter of your name. So welcome, Dora. Hello, Marilyn. To kick things off, let's get a check on sports with Justin. What's up, Mavs, and welcome back to the day's edition of the Mavs Sports Minute. I'm your host, Justin Rossman. Let's stop wasting time and get right into it. Senior celebration is in the air. This past week, our women's varsity volleyball team celebrated their senior night at home against Chaminade, and the men's and women's swim team celebrated their seniors at a trio meet and friendly swim competition with parents and coaches. Congratulations to our seniors from the class of 2023. In football news, Tennessee snapped 15 years of rivalry as they edge out a win against the formidable Crimson Tide, gloriously ending their losing streak and cementing themselves as championship contenders. The Bulls celebrated in spectacular fashion as field goals were upended and carried throughout the streets before being victoriously tossed into the Tennessee River. Heading back to the, to the teal turf, this Friday is our big homecoming game and one you definitely won't want to miss. Make sure you come out and support our football team and get that Mav Zoo pumped up. That's all we have for today, Mavericks. I'm Justin, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, Justin. I'm really excited for all the Hoko Week festivities and for the big game on Friday. Me too. The Hoko game is just so much fun, and with all the extra happenings this week and pep rally, it is going to be a great week for sure. Staying on the topic of homecoming, if you are going to the dance on Saturday night at Signature Grand, make sure to be on time. The dance will be held on October 22nd at the Signature Grand from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Doors close at 8.15 p.m. Parents will be called for students that have not shown up by 8.15 p.m. Table selection is open to all students, seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen today after school. Checking back in on school news, as you know, Mavericks, we have many honor societies on campus. And if you love journalism, this one could be for you. Sophomores, juniors, or seniors participating in journalism with a minimum of a B average and in a good standing with your journalism club are eligible and very welcome to join the Quill and Scroll International Honor Society for the 2022-2023 school year. Please scan the QR code in room 315 to apply. The deadline is this Friday, October 21st. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Palacio. 
Staying in the topic of honor societies, juniors and seniors, the membership application for the National English Honor Society is now open. Scan the QR code on the screen to apply. Deadline for submissions is October 31st. The Interact Club will be meeting today after school. We will be working on our upcoming pro service projects. New members are welcome to join. Cause for a Cause, our on-campus club that helps needy animals, recently partnered with Cali Coffee, having a drive for cat and dog food. Thanks to you and our amazing community, hundreds of pounds of dog and cat food were collected and then delivered to the west coast of Florida by the Cali crew. In addition, Paws for a Cause raised $5,000 through membership dues and various fundraisers, including the annual Walk for the Animals, which was donated to the nonprofit charity Animal Aid, Inc. This is yet another example of how amazing our Maverick community is and how we make a difference. I love seeing all the pictures. This was simply awesome. Seniors, yearbook needs one baby picture of just you, no one else in the photo. Along with the photo, complete the phrase, future blank. Future engineer, future superstar, future paramedic, your future is limitless. The baby photo should be of you and only you, anywhere from your baby months through age three. Deadline is October 26th, and scan the QR code or enter the tiny URL at tinyurl.com slash 2023 babies. Attention teachers, we would love to feature you on our show. If you want to participate in the teacher feature, then please email mavnews at teachers.mccarthyhigh.org. This is a great opportunity for students to learn more about you. Mavericks, the tickets for our fall play, The Games of Foot, are now live. Scan the QR code on the screen now or stop by the Maverick Theater. You don't want to miss this show and it will definitely sell out, so make sure to get your tickets now. We cannot end this show without talking about Homecoming Week. Mia, what did you think of all those memes yesterday? They were so funny and creative. I'm excited to see everybody's outfits today because today's theme is dressing up as the first letter of your name. Wednesday is Soccer Moms versus Barbecue Dads. Thursday is Theme Day and Friday is Color Wars. I can't wait to see what our Mavericks come up with next. We do have a special treat for all of you today before we wrap up the show and we know you will love this. That's right, Mavericks. It is a resurgence of our amazing game show, What's in the Box. Check it out. Hi, I'm Miss Stutzman. Hi, I'm Mr. Ho. And, and you're, you're watching, watching What's, What's in, in the, the Box. Box, Fall Edition. I'm really scared. Right. Okay. It's a competition. Ew! Cotton balls. Okay. She's fast, yes. Cotton balls. <laughs> God. Oh, it's like a rubber thing that they the the kids use as a doodle. It's like an a ornament, fiddle. a rubber ornament. It's a. Uh, it's one of those things with the dots that gosh, you press when you're stressed. Um, Am no. I right? It's. Who's gonna tell oh me gosh, right? What is this? It's I don't uh, know what they're called. It's the thing you. Is push. it a doorstop? No, you push the dots when you're stressed. It's for anxiety, but I don't a stress no. anxiety doodle. It's something. not a stress ball. <laughs> No, it's I a, don't know what the name I of it is. I have no idea what the name is. But I'm right! I'm right! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What the heck is this thing? It's called a poppet. Okay, we are old and we do not know that. We so were not born to understand to this. Whole, Why would you put this in here? Yeah. Gummy worms. Yeah. Damn! Nobody can beat me! You ate it? Ew. <laughs> Germs. All right. Oh my god, it's a pumpkin. Yeah. Oh. He got me. <laughs> it's a very cute pumpkin. All right. It's like, <laughs> now it, she's I, getting bossy. I like it. No? Oh my god. It's a plastic penguin. Uh, no, it's a plastic, it's plastic oh my something. gosh. Skull. Yes. Good job, Mr. Ho. Okay, I think we're tied, right? Yeah. Okay, then. We good? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna switch, switch spots places. because Mr. Ho I wanna go right-handed. Um, you know. She's got a fair advantage. She's, she's making me left-handed the whole time. Right, I'm right -handed. so I'm gonna, all right, okay. ready? Oh my God, pudding. <laughs> Yogurt, slime. 
It's pudding, it's yogurt slime, gooey. not yogurt. It's something gooey. It's gel, hair gel. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Apple pie, no, pudding, <laughs> banana pie. Ah. Oh, it could be a ha hair gel. Mousse. It smells minty fresh. Is it toothpaste? Oh Woo! God, she's good. Who's the winner? Woo! I'm the champion. <laughs> Happy homecoming next week, kid. to see who the next challenger is. Finally, for lunch today, the cafeteria will be serving French onion, sweet and sticky chicken, jasmine rice, and steamed broccoli. And today we have... Big Money Mike. Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gotta, you gotta okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good morning, Mavericks, and welcome back to another episode of Trivia Tuesday. I'm Tamara Toma. And I'm Mia Martinez, and today we have... Shia. Sophie. Big Money Mike. Big Mac. Javonski. Jaden. Shrek. Squiddy. And we're going to ask you both a question, but to decide who goes first, we're going to play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors, so go for it. Okay, so your question is, which British girl group has a member that goes by the name Mel B? Spice Girls. One Direction. All right, and your guess? Bob Bonnie. Ah, uh, the Beatles. Okay, your guess? <laughs> your best guess? I'm just gonna say One Direction. <laughs> The, the girls, the Spice Girls, yes. Okay, and your guess? The Spice Girls. The correct answer was Spice Girls, so you got it right, congratulations. Woo! And that's all we have for today. I'm Devona. And I'm Mia. Have a great day, Mavs.